Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. All right, we got a question today that came in from Russ Stanley. And Russ says, I stumbled upon your videos about a year ago. My one concern when I decided to give this swing a try was that I might lose some distance due to the shorter backswing. But I was willing to trade some distance for accuracy because I am a long hitter. It's just that there were too many times that I had no idea where the ball was going. Long and crooked is a very bad combination. I was fighting nasty hooks and hangers that I've fought for years. Thanks to you, I realized I was too inside out. I've watched a million tips from all the top instructors with no results. Last week, I played around in which my swing, and in parentheses, he's got your swing, held together for a full 18 holes. It was an absolute thing of beauty. I was able to do whatever I wanted with the ball. I made two bad swings in a whole round. Simply amazing. Thank you. One other little comment after he says, but to my surprise, I'm a club longer and, infinite, and, and infinitely straighter with this swing. This is a much better combination. Great words. Okay. What most of the world tells you is that you're supposed to swing inside to out. Okay. Let's go back to an alignment arrow here on the ground. I'm going to try to line it up somewhat with the camera here as best as I can this view. Okay. Inside out means... You're standing here, and if you're parallel to your target line with good address and in a good address position, this should be somewhat about parallel, okay? You're supposed to take the club back into the catcher's mitt, which is just right about here, just slightly inside the aiming, aiming line. It's up in the air. The height can differ based on, on, on a person's measurements, you know, arm measurements versus uh, his, his, his legs, uh, the length of his legs and or his torso. So it's somewhere up in the air. Now, the whole world tells you you're supposed to make a big, huge turn, come in from the inside, swing out, and, and swing out. But today, they're coming away from the inside, and they're coming over the top, and they come down, and they do what I call lag, drag, hold, block, and they go through holding the club face square to the line. That's a very strenuous swing. can put a lot of stress on the body, especially from the big turn and the backswing or whatever. But we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about PPGS. All right? So he was coming in from the inside and swinging out. So that's going to hit, if you come in from the inside swinging out, it's going to hit the ball out, straight out to the right. So you don't want to go to the right, you want to go to somewhere here, so you start to rotate the hands. And if all you're doing is just arbitrarily rotating your hands, you can hit, you can hit anything from barely little draws to rotate them too much and come into the impact with the club dead shut and hit, the, hit, as, hit as Russ was saying, he was hitting some uh, really bad hooks and, and things of that nature, okay? So those are very uncontrollable shots. Trevino was correct when he said you can talk to a fade, but you can't talk to a hook because hooks are tumbling over, so they get that overspin. They're just going to keep running like crazy. So what do we actually have to do here? Well, let's just start off with the number one premise, which is the number one thing we want to do. If we are playing golf, that means we want to hit a golf ball. We want to hit this golf ball with this club to a target out there in a relatively straight shot. In the Search for the Perfect Golf Swing, published in 1962 by Dr. Alistair Cochran with writer John Stobbs, he, he, he declared on the first page, The Physics of Impact. The title of that paragraph is What Happens to the Good Golf Shot? A good golf shot is a relatively straight shot, is the first, is the first sentence. Now, most people believe the relatively a straight shot is the hottest shot to hit. I think it's the easiest one, but you have to use the PPGS, which is 100% physics and physiology blended together to give the swing the maximum swing that a human body can make. Dr. Stobbs said, uh, Dr. Uh, Cochran said, when you swing, the club has to approach the ball on the aiming line, strike the ball while it's on that line and be square to it, leave on the line accelerating, and hit the ball solid in a sweet spot while doing the first three. So from this view, it would be just like this. On, 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 square, and solid. But how long is on, on, and on? Some people have said it's got to come in a foot behind the ball to a foot forward. No, on, on, and on, the ball is only on the club one half of one thousandth of a second. That's point zero 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 five, or about one half inches of movement, one half inch of movement. So that means once the club strikes the ball, by the time the, the club is into the ground, the ball's already coming off. So it's amazing how much damage can get done to a golf shot in that short of time that the ball is on the club. But if you want to hit the ball, relatively straight, or hit the ball, period, the law of physics on, 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 square, and solid lives on forever. It lives on forever. And, and anybody that violates that is right off the bat 
putting yourself behind the eight ball, so to speak, to use that cliche, of trying to achieve the goal of what you're trying to do, which is hit the ball relatively straight from point A to point B. And the peak performance swing does that. Again, I'll stand off here and because I want to come down, and when you swing, when you come on and you square it up and you go into the force mid toe up and up the tree, we got we got a, a minimal amount of rotation. But what we got is we're going from toe up back here to toe up in front, which means we're only rotating about how much? Probably about one fifth or one or even less than what our arms can rotate. Because our hands and arms could rotate the club past parallel here and wait and pass parallel there. We're only going probably one quarter, one fifth the most. All right, it's a controlled degree of rotation, but the hands will always come back to impact, which is at six o'clock below the, at, in a golf swing. They cross at 12 and six, guaranteed every time to be pounds perpendicular to ground. So you start with a pounds perpendicular phrase, and you swing it up, down, and up, toe up to toe up. You got the control rotation. You hit it much more solid and straight. That is the key ingredient to the peak performance golf swing. Because we play by the rules and laws of physics in terms of on, 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 square and solid is the way to play golf and hit it solid and straight and shoot those lowest scores. That's it for today, and I'll be with you all again soon.